got uh, two sprint runs and two exclusives. The dropping now, it just started this Thursday and Friday. Blade Ops and I think Knife Works, but don't quote me. I know Blade Ops has dropped theirs. The Spartaco Shaman. The z -Wear Blade. And the uh, Micarta Scales. So this was a direct result of you know, everybody uh, showing so much interest in the crew card of the crew wear shaman with the same scales that Sal and company made supposedly 3,000 this time so they just started dropping there's going to be tons I think the initial drops are always the premiere drops and then there's more so even if like blade ops shows out of stock now a lot of times what blade ops does is they just pull the, the listing off the site so you won't even find it but just keep checking back you will there's going to be a ton of opportunities to get these This has just started to, this dropped the same day. The Native Chief S90V. With the full slabbed carbon fiber non-peel ply. This was a big surprise for me. I was gonna get the knife one way or the other, but I did not know it was not gonna be peel ply, which I like this a lot more. Beautiful texture and pattern on there. Perfect fit and finish. So uh, I know this one did drop at Blade Ops. It may still be in stock. I know Knifeworks was as in, in stock as of last night. And you know, all the different vendors, Blade HQ, you know, Knife Center, National Knives, House of, House of Blades, whatever, uh, DLT, GP, they're all gonna be showing up here shortly. This dropped, uh, I don't quite remember, I think it was last week or the week before. The Blade HQ exclusive JG10 CPM M4 DLC Tanto. You see it's a compound grind, it's got the hollow in the middle and then the flat on the tip, very, very robust tip. They had a satin and DLC, uh, the site crash, which is the very first for Blade HQ. I've never seen that happen on any of the drops. I've seen it slow down, but it just basically died. The only way I've seen of guys that got one was just kept trying. I left, came back 20 minutes later. It was still slow, it froze. I got through, I had my account already open, I got through. and then put it into my cart and then uh, paid, pushed the button and it froze there. So I didn't think I got it, but I got an email, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes later saying that I got a confirmation. So these are already on the secondary market. Obviously there's a ton on eBay. That's just the nature of the game. But there are a lot on blade forms uh, selling at cost or trying to trade for other knives. So there's tons of opportunities to pick these up. You know, you just gotta look for them. The River's Edge Cutlery. Little native comp lock with the PV decoded CTS 204P blade and the uh, OD green, you know, with the blacked out hardware. Beautiful little knife. I want to thank my buddy Steve, who I met through the channel. We've helped each other out, you know, getting knives that we wanted. He facilitated. I missed this. I was, I didn't even know they were dropping, you know. Uh, I love the guys at River's Edge. I'm not going to say anything negative about them, but they, they're trying to do things differently, you know. They're, they, I think they dropped them randomly, which is fine. I missed out. I went through an alternative means to get one. That's what you do. You don't complain about it. You just go get it. So I really want to thank Steve, you know, for helping me out get this knife. It's beautiful. So the Shaman's 224 Z-Wear Micarta. Supposedly it's 3,000 pieces. I put in question marks. Not quite sure. I know there's more than the original 1200. Most sprint runs are 1200 pieces. The solid carbon fiber S90V, $245 for the Native Chief. You know, it's 
it's expensive, but you got a big, huge four inch blade of S90V and solid slabs of carbon fiber made in golden. 3.9 ounces is what it says. I haven't weighed it yet. So once again, 245 dropping now for the next two or three weeks. And then the Z-Wear for the next two or three weeks, 224. I'll just show the pricing on the uh, paramilitary too, even though it's already been sold out. The satin was 186. You know, this, I give this information for, you know, if you're trying to buy on the secondary market to know what to pay or what you're paying. The DLC was 199.95. Once again, don't, you know, if you missed out, there's there's guys selling these things. And uh, a lot of the guys are stand up on blade forms. That they're only asking cost plus shipping, which is usually eight to 10 bucks insured and PayPal fees. So, you know, if it was 199 with shipping and PayPal fees, you're gonna be close to 215, 220. You know, some people are obviously trying to gouge, but um, the Blade HQ, CPM M4 DLC, Tanto, the Native Chief S90V, sorry about the background noise, solid carbon fiber scales, the Shaman, Z-Wear, with the Micarta scales, Sprint Run dropping now, and then the River's Edge Cutlery little native with the PVD coated blade and the blacked out hardware OD green. Everybody have a good weekend.